good afternoon to all the participants i welcome you all to the fourth day of this webinar lecture series on biotechnology concepts to practice today our speaker is mr uh, psm parthasarathi who is uh, currently a sales manager uh, in aquaculture feed and medicine essence porting corporation chennai he has also been the team leader uh in aquaculture feed in godrej agrovet vijayawada he has been the technical head ganesh aqua farms sirgali tamil nadu executive uh, technical uh, farm he has been in production and quality in agri marine seafood exports thiruvattur chennai he has visited various countries like malaysia singapore uzbekistan and indonesia and has a vast experience in the field of aquaculture uh with a small introduction i request today's speaker to share his knowledge with us over to you okay, sir. sir thank you sir thank you good afternoon friends good afternoon i am parsarathi speaking from chennai first of all i would like to thank the whole management of satyabhama university chennai for giving me this opportunity to share my views on nutritional in fulfillment through aquaculture and uh, i would like to thank uh, the head of the department of biotechnology of satyabhama university dr ramesh kumar dr narendra kumar and organizing secretaries dr tyagarajan sir and dr masilamani selvam who was my classmate thank you friends thank you friends for uh, giving me this opportunity now i am going to start the nutritional fulfillment through aquaculture yes first nutrition for living organisms yes the, uh, we are all we, we are also coming under the heading of living organisms there are single cell to human being we can say so if you take uh, types means plants animals and human beings we are coming under the living organisms all of us are need the nutrition to lead a healthy life so if you take plants 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 are sedentary it cannot move here and there for the food and they are and uh, these plants are autotrophs it can produce of their own food on their own by the process of photosynthesis everybody knows it anyway uh based on the environment based on the climatic conditions the plants will be plants can be contributed and the presence of the plants also will be there based on the environmental conditions only for example coconut trees are there rice rice is there rice capsicum chilies uh, coconut tree bananas are there in south india mainly if you take but if you take some other countries or if you take our north india also uh there uh, kashmir simla and all we can find apples we cannot expect others apples in our tamil nadu south part of tamil nadu and all but some hill stations like ooty uh, some some areas may have apples because that needs climatic cool climate cold climatic conditions and some special fertilizers fertilizers so uh based on the nutrition only we can find plants over there but fertility of the soil is playing very crucial role in healthy plants for example if uh, we can say the smell of soil when there is rain starting that at that time we can find some smell from the soil that is not from the soil the presence of the organisms giving that smell if you go to the barren land if you go to some uh, desert means you cannot find that those good smell when the rain starts okay then if we come for nutrition for animals yes nutrition for the animals and comes under heterotrophs it cannot produce their own food it should it should depend on others for the food either it may take only plants herbivores carnivores means it will take only uh animal animal food animal origin food omnivores will take everything those animals can move here and there for their nutrition wild animals everybody knows living in the forest 
and uh, they take their food and their own if you take house animal some pet animals so you take house animals we are raising dairies cow we are raising hens we are raising rabbits we are raising uh, uh, rabbits and uh, fishes every everything we are raising uh, we have we are only giving the necessary food for them when when we raise cow we should give uh, that uh, green leaves and all anyway nowadays we are all faster now so we are not giving enough adequate food for the house animals we are not uh, thinking anything about its feeling and all because we are giving uh, artificial feeds and uh, some green leaves for cows it's giving milk but uh, that semination insemination insemination we are doing for house animals that is i won't accept that concept because uh, when a child forms means uh, tamil poet have written already that inbathai karvaakinal pen that means child should form from the happiness of the mating happiness of the mating should only give child not only the insemination insemination scientifically it is correct but the child born because of that insemination may not have that strength or may not have that uh, all the characters as per the uh, when we compare with the natural naturally mated uh, child so we should stop insemination for that only our youngsters have supported and organized a protest against the insemination that is uh, taming of bull fight in tamil nadu jallikattu so we have to we should not support insemination we should have only natural mating with uh, male one then if we come for human being yes human being we are deciding ourselves we are deciding ourselves nutritionist are there to help us and guide us what are the things should be taken and or what are the should not be taken in that human takes everything ulagam pirandathu enakkaga that is that means whole world is for me every one of us can say because we are eating everything we are eating all the plants we are eating all the animals that is start from chicken mutton and uh, beef pork everything we are taking everything we are taking for our happiness for our happiness we are uh, taking all the food based on the countries food culture are uh, difference if you take china food culture and china china's food tradition may be the uh, best one in the, in in the world because that is uh, that is uh, that is having more more number more varieties of food items that is diversification in food items is bleed natural food nowadays every country have started mixing chemicals with food items so that is harmful for our health but we are not bothering about that and balanced food yes balanced food means when we take the food the when we talk about nutrition the balanced food should come in because the food with protein carbohydrate and lipid for example if you take india they will take rice that is high, that is giving carbohydrate we are going to mix with dal that is red gram that is that will give you more protein and if we mix it with ghee that gives lipid if if body meets the requirement of these three items protein carbohydrate and uh, lipid and the cholesterol lipid in the exact uh, uh, formulation we can take smaller quantities only if you take without uh, ghee if you take only rice and uh, if you take only rice the appetite will be more if you take dal and uh, ghee appetite will be uh, uh, fulfilled immediately so balanced food needs food and uh, yes private companies 
private companies are natural food we should, when we talk about nutrition we should think and talk only about the natural food not anything about uh, the artificial food which are floated by private companies private companies they are releasing all these products only for their profit not for our health they are not concerning anything about our company like the government giving freebies freebies want strengthen the society it will not help society to come up but they can strengthen their vote share in the politics only for that only they are giving cooking yes cooking also is needed somebody are cooking with spices in our india some countries with only salt they are taking and the chicken and all like that and uh, we uh, some raw food also are being eaten by chinese chinese are taking almost all the reptiles everything uh, they are they are they are good only but without cooking food is good only for the health but for pregnant ladies and all and the, at the time of some virus if any food items live food having virus if it is having tendency to affect human being then there will be problem for human being if you take it otherwise there will not be any problem so anyway we have to concentrate on cooking food only okay right and now india's natural catchings yes with this uh, introduction of introduction about uh, nutrition we are entering into our title and our field of aquaculture india's natural catchings india catchings almost 3.69 million tons per year that is from sea and other inland sources inland sources I means some all reservoirs dams some bigger lakes Uh, rivers everything are there we are continuously doing catching in that uh, water sources also and from sea western coast having higher potential yes india having western coast and uh, east coast mainly that bay of bengal is comes under east that uh, arabian sea comes in west coast west coast uh, means uh, west having higher potential and tamil nadu had coast giving more fishes than other states in india previously gujarat was the number one gujarat now it is in second tamil nadu first gujarat karnataka kerala maharashtra are toppers these uh, fishing catchings are being done by some trawlers some mechanized boats and so many ways are there for what deep sea technology deep sea catching fisheries technology also has been developed very well and we are now exploiting our sea potential very well and still it is to be continued to more with uh, latest technologies yes east uh, if we compare with the east uh, coast western coast is giving higher uh, whatever may be the reason there are uh, so many times in a year we are finding some cyclones yes cyclones and all some problems natural calamities based on that only that uh, fish sources has been uh, damaged damaged that's why the west coast is uh, standing first standing first then then uh, then uh, Uh, coast that east coast is destroyed by lp means liberalization lp privatization and g globalization one bangalore uh, fisheries professor have written in his uh, release that lpg that liberalization privatization and globalization have damaged the west coast for a higher level so based on that central government took all these things into their consideration and they released they released a bill that it is to save the wetland conservation
hello is it audible i think some inter interruption show your video sir show audible yeah yeah yes sir yes sir okay, right. okay right if we see that over exploitation over exploitation and indiscrimination usage of the natural resources that is we are not able to save coral reefs also we are seeing lot of news in the newspapers and the television that we are not able to save the coral reefs which is occurring beautifully in gulf of manar also so we have to take more care about the nature we should stop dumping of pollutants so lot of plastic bags and the plastic wastes are being uh, dumped into the sea hello is it audible i am not able to see the video hello hello you are audible audible okay i am not able to see the video are you seeing me yeah yeah okay but fine. the slide is not clear i think it's a net problem oh anyway let me come to you the net problem okay right uh, now shall i continue now yes 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 okay okay fishing holidays yes we should not take anything easily because we should not take anything the government is having good plan to save the nature fishing holidays also they are giving to save juveniles and fingerlings because it can grow and it can give more weight more biomass than if we catch it today that fingerlings and uh, juveniles lot of juveniles will be there so biomass will be lesser but if we give good fishing holidays then it will be good so west coast government have announced that june 15 to july 31 and east coast april 15 to may 31st every year this period will be announced as a fishing holidays there will not be any fishings fishing in that areas second one and uh, but whenever the government takes some steps to save the nature people also should uh, su- support that because nowadays now we are in corona holidays corona lockdown period yes government started that in the period of may sorry march that time with a lot of fish, people involved in fishing they told that uh, this 21 days lockdown also should be calculated into the uh, fishing holidays because they are asking us to reduce the fishing holidays they Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, to change the fishing because in that lot of to do the fishing.
Sir, kindly unmute yourself, sir. Bottom left there. Yes, sir. Yes. Now we can hear you, sir. Yes, yes. I have done it. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, you can press full screen and we'll go there. Sir. Sir, are you okay now? Hello? Yes, sir. I, we can hear you. Problem ah. is, uh, when you are speaking, there is a small uh, lag. Maybe ah. you can cut your video, sir. You can stop your video so that... Uh... No video, sir. I have only... No, no, no sir. Oh. Your, your video, sir. The, the, uh, the, the camera. I think now it's okay. Now, now it's, it's okay? okay. Now it's okay. Sir. Okay, I have changed the net's connection. Yeah, then, then okay. it's fine, sir. Then it is fine. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. okay. India catching almost 3.6 mil million tons per year. In that, fish dominates with 2.89 million metric ton. Crustaceans, 4 lakh and 4.41 lakhs metric ton. Mollusk, 3.3 lakhs metric ton. And algae, 18.6 ton metric ton. Six, Thousand metric tons. Yes. In fish, if you take red tooth trigger fish, 2.74 lakhs metric ton, and lesser sardine comes second with 1.7 lakhs metric ton, and oil sardine contributes 1.45 lakhs metric ton. Still, more effort we should put for inland fishing by stocking because we got, we are having a lot of catcheries for fishes and uh, prawns. We should we can buy seeds from hatcheries and we can stock in our uh, government all the reservoirs. So many reservoirs are there in all the states of our country. In that we have to all the reservoirs and uh, some dams and lakes. We should stock intentionally with higher docking density and we have to do the uh, culture in that also to increase the uh, natural catchings. And Gujarat. Yes, Gujarat and Telangana. Yes, Telangana is also doing very good because they also have uh, started buying seeds from hatcheries and uh, do uh, stockings in the, their reservoirs to increase the fish production. Gujarat. Yes, Gujarat also having lot of uh, wetlands and salt lands along with the coastal belt of Gujarat. Having lot of uh, salt lands in that lands, government uh, almost 10 years back, yes, Mr. Narendra Modi was the then chief minister of Gujarat. He started giving for lease for the farmers, giving those uh, government lands for uh, prawn farming. Now they are doing more areas in that uh, government sites because it is charging only 500 rupees per acre per year. So we can take for lease and uh, we can do the culture in the like that all the states should do that and uh, no one land should be occupied by uh, no one water sources no one water sources and the nearby uh, government uh, lands should not be occupied by any people because uh, in india so many areas is being occupied because 10 almost 15 years back dr rajesh Egerati was the chief minister of andhra pradesh he was uh, taking back all the encroached areas of cholera lack Yes, Kolori Lake may be the biggest one in India for uh, freshwater sources. In that also, uh, there were a lot of encroaches. So we should stop that. We should be more responsible. We all should be more responsible, should more responsible in saving the government lands and water reservoirs to increase the production. Yes, world catchings. If we have a look on world catchings, worldwide, almost 179 million metric ton is being harvested is being catched from the water sources natural resources 50 percent from china in the 50 means out of 179 million metric ton 50 percentage of those that volume is comes from only china indonesia peru india russia usa and vietnam these uh, countries having very good uh, fish sources in their water in their sea water areas Ankovita, the fish with 7 million metric ton stands first. Alaska Polak, 3.4 uh, million metric ton. And Skipjack Tuna, 3.2 million metric ton. It stands three. And a lot of varieties are there. 
uh, in this 179 million metric ton fishes that elasma branch that is fin fishes crustaceans molluscans sea algae are the main contributors still some lobsters are there some ornamental fishes also are there so everything is contributes almost 179 million metric ton per year yes world production world yes total world is producing aqua aquatic animals is uh, doing uh, culti doing the culture the farming world produce almost 116 million per year million million metric ton per year in that china 20 lakhs metric ton almost it is producing it was producing almost 5 years 5 or 6 years back it was producing uh, up to 20 lakhs million ton some researchers are saying that uh, suddenly that disease ems early mortality syndrome came in almost that uh, ems problem uh, give gave uh, almost 90 percentage of the farmers to face the last it forced farmers to face last and the uh, problem and the disease spreaded to vietnam malaysia thailand and almost it have entered into our india also because when whenever we are going for higher potential or high uh, more intensive farming with higher densities this kind of problems will be this kind of diseases will be arised yes that uh, then uh water quality management water quality management means effluent treatment when we release the water when we release the pond water into the reservoir or some water resources we should treat it be, uh, before uh, releasing into the canals because we we all should have the effluent treatment plant in our farm to treat our effluents in our site itself before releasing it into the source water source because when we release poor quality water into the reservoirs when we pump it again that poor quality only will come it come into our farm and it will uh, do the huge damage for our culture and esa in that uh, sense esa is doing very good uh, effluent treatment uh, process uh, every farm should have the uh, etp system and should treat their land treat their water in their land and then only it should release into the water now uh, china have started to give more restrictions and more strict instructions to the farmers to have good etp to treat the treat the water china as it had as it went for huge uh, intensive culture uh, later they faced loss and they are not able to produce now they have now reduced the shocking density and it is almost uh, importing 50 more than 50% of their requirement to eat prawns and the problems uh, the world productions is being affected by this kind of uh, more in, uh, intensive farming and more small farmers and the small farmers and uh, those small farmers will not be able to uh, have good technologies to identify the problem and you, they may not be able to invest more to adopt all the technologies so the main problems comes from small farmers and using of antibiotic is it is it was being used by all the farmers big farmers and small farmers but now uh, all over the world there is very good restrictions and the severe uh, injections from the government of all the countries regarding using antibiotics india have almost stopped using uh antibiotics because that is caa coastal aquaculture authority of india have given all the rules and regulations to stop antibiotics now in india no one of us is using antibiotics and to confirm the quality of the farm produce uh some countries having uh all the countries now uh have started e- implementing some practices that is bap best aquaculture practices and uh, asc now it is that asc that aquaculture one minute aquaculture stewardship council council aquaculture stewardship council and caa of our india have given good instructions and the countries which are buying uh, which are buying and companies which are buying the pond produce that shrimp and all they are insisting to um, 
insisting to implement all of their instructions through that BAP certification and AAC certifications is giving lot of inputs to manage their farm without any diseases and how we should do a healthy aquaculture that kind of instructions are being given so this kind of certifications are directing us to a good uh, good a uh, position good position yes in this uh, production world production almost 116 metric ton million metric ton per year in that 82 million metric ton of fish crustaceans and molluscans these three fish and crustaceans molluscans and uh, these three contributes 82 million metric tons 33 lakhs metric ton of algae 26000 of 26000 metric ton of ornamental seashells and pearls are being cultivated then asia that whole production in the world uh, asian countries china india indonesia vietnam bangladesh egypt and norway chile taiwan and thailand these countries are producing almost and uh, contributing almost 89 percentage of the whole world production so we all should be more responsible in running our farm to increase the pond production and to increase the good profit yes now india how much it is producing india produces now 7.6 lakhs 7.6 lakhs metric ton of shrimp that is uh, good growth we have seen in the past uh, 10 years because previously it was almost 1 lakh ton only. Now it is uh, almost uh, 7.6 lakhs metric ton of shrimp is being uh, cultured in India. Now not using any antibiotics and government regulations. Government also supporting in very well manner uh, to increase the production. One is that uh, RGCA. RGCA is uh, producing good quality seeds and uh, supplying and doing more researches on seed production and the CAA regulations, Coastal Aquaculture Authority regulations for hatcheries and farms and farms because all the hatcheries and farms should follow their instructions properly and they will visit uh, adequately for having the good fencing and ETP system and uh, bird fencing also bird fencing because bird fencing only can uh, stop contamination of, uh, of other ponds by some white part disease and all so mpda mpda and state fisheries and nfdb these three institutions are giving lot of uh, money for uh, entrepreneurs to start farming uh, NFDB also funding give, gives funding for new projects and new researches uh, to do that. CBAS also they were, it was funded by them only, and NAOT National Institute of Technology have conducted a trial based cage culture in our Indian coast. Uh, CBAS uh, that um, uh, means uh, CBAS and all has been. Uh, cultured in cage culture manner. Then live feed development is being done by RGCA, Artemia Culture, and SIBA and SIFA. Uh, these institutes are doing more surveys in, uh, in the culture areas and doing more researches on uh, SIBA, that practice water aquaculture, that in the Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture, SIFA are doing more researches uh, for, to increase the production, farm production. Then, Fisheries Ministry, yes, new uh, Mr. Narendra Modi government, that central government have uh, announced to form a new ministry for uh, fisheries, so expected for getting more funds, and new universities is being launched by, uh, new universities for uh, fisheries is being launched by so many state governments in Tamil Nadu, uh, last within five years, Dr. Jayalalitha Fisheries. University has been opened newly in Nagapatnam and CAS, Center of Advanced Study in Advanced Study in Marine Biology of Anamala University, Satyabama University. Uh, CAS uh, is helping so many farmers by giving good consultancy. And Satyabama, you see this kind of six days. Then previously also the ornamental fishes, this kind of um, meetings to give good uh, awareness for the people to invest in aquaculture. And the CIFI, 
Central Institute of Fisheries Education at Bombay uh, is giving more uh, support to the farmers. Other state also, uh, Andhra Pradesh is supporting very well. And now Tamil Nadu government have announced a lot of subsidies for newly starting, newly started uh, aquaculture ponds by giving more subsidies for buying, uh, buying and construction of ponds and all, and promoting aquaculture for funding also. And uh, AP, uh, Andhra Pradesh stands first in our whole production of 7.6 lakhs metric ton. Andhra Pradesh stands first with 4.6 lakhs metric ton. Gujarat 57,000 metric ton. Tamil Nadu 43 lakh, 43,000 metric ton. Odisha 37,000 metric ton. West Bengal 23,000 metric tons and others. And the other states uh, also contributing little bit for our production. Fish production, fish. Fishes means mainly carp, major carps that katla katla and uh, rogu, mirigala are being cultured and pangaceous. Yes, pangaceous now giving more uh, contribution for our aquaculture. See, fish production. Mainly these fishes are being uh, produced in Andhra Pradesh and uh, West Bengal and Odisha only now. They are, those three states are giving good uh, volume of fishes. 60 percentage of the total production from freshwater only. So still there are a lot of scope to utilize uh, coastal belts with marine water. So we have to concentrate on that. Aquaculture contributes 46 percentage of the aquatic animal food. Means uh, out of 100 percentage, means if we take 100 kilos from of aquatic animals, 46 percentage of them comes from culture, remaining from nature, natural areas. Now, now it is fish culture. This uh, in fish culture in India, fin fishes, Katla Katla, Lebo Rohita, and uh, Serenus Mrigala are uh, major carbs uh, was dominating almost 10 years back in Indian industry. But now Pangaceous have emerged as the number one species for uh, farming, do for, for doing farming. If you take fish culture, uh, uh, I can explain like this, that uh, nursery, yes, seeds should be uh, stocked in, uh, when we buy from hatchery, we should stock all those seeds in nursery ponds for nine months. In nine months, it will grow only one centimeter maximum or two centimeter maximum. Uh, in that, it is only for conditioning. It should face all the climates, climatic conditions which are withstanding those climatic cha changes in climatic conditions in nine months only will be passed out to the uh, growth systems. In growth system, major carbs means uh, almost one piece, one piece per meter square. That is uh, 4,000 per acre we are uh, stocking. Uh, but uh, fungus, yes, we can do almost 10,000. That is uh, up to 2.5 pieces per meter square we can do stocking. And uh, for uh, fish culture, mainly we were using cow dung only. Uh, mean that natural feed. Natural feed means uh, DRB, that dialed rice bran and uh, that uh, I dialed cakes from coconut oil mills and groundnut oil mills, those used uh, for the feed. And uh, uh, cow dung, yes, cow dung and uh, superphosphate and all will be mixed and it will be thrown into the water for uh, boosting of phytoplanktons. Boosting of phytoplanktons, uh, the cow dungs and all it is being used. Formulated feed, now, yes, you now uh, for fungus, yes, mainly we are using formulated feed. So it is giving good results and uh, we can save more time by instead of uh, spending in buying some uh, natural feed. Natural feed did not give any, because a lot of wastages will be there. When we tie in the bag in the farm, uh, in the ponds, there will be a lot of wastages, feed wastages. But now, after seeing that uh, newly formulated feed, wastage has been reduced. Previously, five pieces, that is almost 20,000 um, pieces uh, per area, it was stocked. Then some diseases, some problems were emerged. So now only we have uh, reduced the stocking density to 2.5 pieces per meter squared for fungaceous. Major carbs, still one pieces, still one piece per acre, one piece per meter squared. 
then uh, we should uh, do good uh, management practices means at least two years once we should uh, dry the land for fish uh, uh, every culture if we do it that is good if we cast wise it is not viable means at least two cultures we have to dry the ponds without doing without doing the drying only we are uh, making as ourselves to face disease problem from the pond then still vietnam in vietnam uh, almost 25 pieces per meter square fungaceous culture is being done with uh, good aeration technologies and all so we also can try for that uh, new technologies for fungaceous to increase the production and uh, for good profit these carbs uh, ma major carbs and uh, fungaceous are being consumed mainly in india only not uh, much export and now now we newly the government is doing more researches and uh, on culture of sea bass and now only they are uh, making some hatcheries also to produce seed for doing farming that uh, let us calcari for and channa stratus and pamponos and cobia are being cultured and cobia is being cultured in cage culture also so new varieties of fishes also will be introduced into the culture shortly with uh, good hatchery for seed supply yes crustacean culture macrobrachium rosenbergi yes previously macrobrachium rosenbergi mainly in andhra pradesh gave good uh, profit to the farmers nowadays there is no good culture very lesser production only we are doing in india now that macrobrachium rosenbergi also we should have nursery first when we uh, buy seed from hatchery we should stock first at least for two months in uh, in the net uh, hatcheries and nurseries then from the nursery we should transfer it to grow to system in grow out system we can have 2.5 to 3 pieces per meter square uh, meter square low protein feed is uh, enough for uh, scampi almost 27 28 pro percentage of protein feed with 27 percentage of protein is enough for uh, doing culture and 2 plus 4 months means uh, a uh, two months in hatchery uh, nursery pond and after that changing into the growth system four months we have to wait then we can start doing batch harvest means every month every 25 days or one 30 days we can do more uh, harvest batch wise immediately we can do the shifting from nursery to growth also for uh, if we harvest today 1000 pieces immediately we can stock we can uh, shift the fingerlings from nursery into growth so continuously at least for two years we can do uh, continuous stocking and uh, continuous harvest it was helping it was helping so many small farmers they could develop their financial status by using this uh, scampi culture and uh, female yes in that uh, scampi female pieces will carry eggs so that will not give good uh, weight weight gain for uh, profit only male pieces is to give but, but israel in israel uh, there was a sound that uh, israel having the technology of producing hybridized hybridized scampi can produce only male uh, seeds but in india it has not been uh, implemented uh, we are not sure about that technology also but they told that uh, israel is having that good for small farmers yes small farmers because investment is very uh, lesser we need not to have any aerators and all only the one feet one meter depth water is enough water also won't but only in fresh water we can do micro brachium rosenbergi scampi not in salt water but here also we did so many poor practices in culture because uh, we did not use any probiotics to clean the to keep the pond water uh, clean and uh, it was not managed properly with uh, good to zeolites and uh, probiotics for good water and here also they they will not dry even for 3 years 5 year also they will not dry without doing drying continuous culture because of that only some uh, disease uh, some virus uh, raised in that uh, poor management only now it has eradicated almost scampi culture in india so whatever the culture it may be we should go with good guidelines from the government we we all we the farmers and the technicians should follow 
the proper guidelines of the government to uh, earn more money from the culture if you go for uh, higher density if you go for uh, poor practices means we are only going to lose the money so we all should follow the government instructions to do the um, good culture crab yes crab culture growth system with fencing good growth system uh, like earthen ponds only are being used uh, for uh, crab also like uh, scampi and fishes with uh, good fencing because it can run away from the farm uh, that mainly the trash fish trash fish and uh, bivalves live feed only it is being given now there is no much demand for any formulated feed yeah, but anyway it will be developed silla serata and silla trankbarika are being cultured mainly in india shrimp culture yes shrimp culture shrimp is the main species shrimp is, is the main part in aquaculture production because 10 days 10 years back we had penes monodon now it is uh, litopenes venami the culture practices almost same almost same one or two uh, points may be varied because the tiger needs higher protein feed venami somewhat oh, fine percentage lesser protein feed we can have otherwise in culture practices there is no much uh, uh, differences between penes monodon and penes venami hatchery yes there are in numerous almost 500 hatcheries are there in india to produce hatchery this is the biggest industry shrimp culture industry is the biggest one in aquaculture production in india india all over the world hatchery yes we are having so many hatcheries they are producing seeds and if we we are going to buy the seed from them first we go to select the good seed by conducting small test that uh, water willing test if we rotate the water in clockwise direction that is, is those seeds should move against our water current then only it will be uh, considered as a good quality seed then if we satisfied with the physical parameters of physical parameters of selection then we have to go for pcr test polymerase chain reaction test it is to predict any effect of white spot disease if there is anything means then we can find it out with using pcr test we have to conduct uh, so many labs are available to have this test and packing and packing should be done properly then it should be shipped, uh, transported to the uh, farm areas if we for farm site selection it should be uh, good uh, electricity facility should be there and uh, water source should be there either it should be from uh um, brackish water that is either it should be from natural resources or uh, bore water because bore water now we are doing so many and then we, all the farm uh, every farm every farm should have the effluent treatment system and bird fencing bird fencing uh, plays lot of roles you see now now we are saying no that uh, isolation self isolation self isolation like that only we all have to do uh bird fencing in the name of isolation because birds that crows and some other birds will uh come into our pond it if there is any white spot disease in the in our pond some birds will come and carry the white spot affected shrimp and it will drop in a good pond in nearby areas in nearby areas to avoid that we should have bird fencing first and some dogs also <laughs> dogs also will Uh, come and take bath in our farm and it will carry the virus of white spot into other farms area other farmers that will take bath in other f- farms also so to avoid that we should have good uh, monitoring of security and all every pond every pond if you have 10 ponds means in your farm means every pond should have the central sludge removal system yes center of the pond we all should have we all should have the pipe towards the outlet to remo- because when we have all the four sides uh, when we have all the four sides uh, you see you can see here you see the aerators here four corners of uh, ponds will have the aerator in the first uh, picture you can see uh, that aerators will uh, aerators will be in 
and the margins four corners of the pond so when we have water current around the pond inside of the pond the sludge will be forced to settle at the center of the pond so center of all the pond should have a pipe system with puck with full proof pipe system with motor to uh, pump out the sludge from the bottom of the pond that then outlet should have we should we are, should have the outlet for harvest grow out system that grow out preparation uh, actually this one minute yes sludge that sludge layer flowing when we when we are going to do the start culture in grow out ponds that pond preparation means we should dry the pond first cleanly after drying we should remove we should remove some sludges will be dried uh, the top layer of the pond should be removed off by the manual power to ensure good to removal of that uh, some um, organic matters dried organic matters from the pond so we can remove it first then we can go for plowing yes plowing should be done two three times to expel out the toxic gases which are inside the land yes then we have to check the ph of the pond and soil soil ph we have to test and we have to set the ph by for 7 ph by adding lime that burnt lime we can add to adjust the ph then we have to do the pumping first you can see that plowing and all it is happening then pumping first water we have to pump at almost 1 meter depth then we have to add liming uh, then we have to add lime and uh, some probiotics for uh, plankton development so initially we should have the good phytoplankton and zooplankton development before going for stocking then if water culture is over and uh, water quality is good we have to go for seed stocking that pl 8 to 2 10 will be optimum for uh, good stocking then feeding uh, immediately after stocking we can start feeding of uh, small uh, crust uh, feed that uh, feed we have to start feeding three times four times a day we have to give feed almost now 37 to 40 percentage of protein we feed with 40% protein is being given for one animal apply probiotics for development yes uh, continuously every week we have to apply plankton uh, probiotics for good uh, plankton development because it will consume the organic load in the pond and it can uh, give nitrogen for good plankton growth and we have to and pollution removal also that uh, probiotics will remove the ammonia ammonia pollution by converting it to uh, nitrogen center sludge removal system already i have explained about that central sludge removal every week we have to do with good pumping and there should not be any sludge in the pond system and frequently every day almost every day morning and evening we have to test ph of the pond water oxygen content of uh, pond water it should be based on the oxygen level we can increase the number of aerators and the time of uh, aerator running aerator running and ammonia should be tested almost 5 days once in 5 days and alkalinity alkalinity we can test uh, at the time of starting and after uh, that uh, every 15 days or every one month we can test for alkalinity if we have some alkalinity problem all the areas will not have this alkalinity problem but if we have it then we have to go for testing of alkalinity also and uh, harness we have to test adequately so these tests should be conducted very clearly to do the to give the good management practices for aquaculture shrimp culture yes proper feeding should not be there <laughs> some people what our uh, when we i can i can tell you very clearly that if we want to do aquaculture the entrepreneur the owner of the farm should be almost there almost there uh, 
uh, not visiting you can stay there to give uh, success successful culture otherwise uh, if you rely on some employees which they may not may not do properly because if you do uh, feed what they will do four times we have to give feeding feeding four times morning 6 o'clock 10 o'clock uh, afternoon 2 o'clock and evening 6 o'clock we have to four times we have to feed uh, do feed for one army those diggers will what will do this uh, they will take 20 kg means they will dump in your place they will dump in your place if they dump uh they, they go to sprinkle they have to sprinkle all the feeds all over the pond uh, peripheral areas only not center because sludge will be collected in that area we have to do good feed practice feed is the main major major feed plays major role in success of the aquaculture because if you do not manage feed properly that will make you face huge problems because uh, some stuff they may dump all the 20 kg feed in your place because uh, laziness because of the laziness they may dump if they do it within 3 days or 4 days uh, pond will be damaged hugely with high protein deterioration yes monitoring for security already i have told bird fencing which should be there and dogs should be should, should not be allowed to enter into the ponds to avoid some contagious diseases not contagious uh, spreading one pieces already i have told you one piece if uh, white spot uh, affect that pran affected with white spot is dropping in our other ponds means that also will get white spot like our corona now and timely harvest yes we have to verify the price if we, we can wait then we can wait for good price otherwise we have to monitor daily then go for uh, timely harvest with good profit processing yes in in one army almost in india 25 pieces per meter square is being stacked uh, stacked previously tiger means only 2.5 pieces can uh, sorry uh, 10 pieces per meter square we can stack now uh, 25 pieces we are doing moderately but in india also doing almost 50 pieces per meter square also doing but they are facing some problems 25 pieces per meter square can be done without any tension and a good profit also and processing for export yes almost one army shrimps are being exported to other countries consumption in the india is very lesser quantity so we are exporting <laughs> still uh, we have to develop good market for shrimp in india and uh, it is being sold uh, to it is being exported to other countries in so many f- f- farms means head on as such as such means whatever we are collecting from we are simply wash it and uh, they are exporting that is one policy uh, one type and headless they will remove only head so headless pieces will be exported peeled means totally all the head and uh, shell of the abdomen also will be removed only flesh of the prawn will be exported and in some types that uh, peeled prawns will have the intestine that intestine also being removed now so these types of and one uh, another types of export also is being done with processors removed uh, and the intestine removed and ice slabs that is being for example uh, one feet by one uh, six inch by 12 inch tray they will have they will uh, arrange all the prawns in that uh, tray in that plate then they will add ice water they will keep it in the freezer they will make a slab ice slab uh, ice slab with ice slab with prawns like our bricks like our bricks using for construction no it will look that ice will look like brick with prawns inside that so that ice slab system also that iq yes uh, good technology individual quick freezing there will be a con- con- conveyor if we keep our pieces individually in that all the pieces all the pieces all the prawns will have ice around them so we, every piece individual pieces will be covered with ice and it can pack uh, like our mixer and all for export they are doing yes now we have to do more updation upgradation of technology in india uh, for doing bioflock culture bioflock means 
লিটোপেন মানে আমি আই টোল্ড নো সেফলি ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু ডু ইন ইন্ডিয়া মিনস টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ পিসেস পার মিটার উই ক্যান ডু নাও বাট বায়োফ্লাক কালচার অ্যাডিং অফ মোর প্রোবায়োটিক্স অ্যান্ড মোর কার্বন ইন সোর্সেস উই ক্যান ডু অলমোস্ট ওয়ান ফিফটি আর টু হান্ড্রেড পিসেস পার মিটার স্কোয়ার ইন ইন্ডোনেশিয়া চাইনা আল দ্য কান্ট্রিজ আর ডুইং নাও সো স্লোলি ইন্ডিয়া আলসো লার্নিং দ্যাট টেকনোলজি টু ইমপ্লিমেন্ট ইন ইন্ডিয়া আলসো দ্যাট উইল হেল্প আস টু ইনক্রিজ আওয়ার প্রোডাকশন টু দ্য হিউজ লেভেল এস উই আর ওয়েটিং ফর দ্যাট এস মলাস্কান কালচার মলাস্কান এস এডিবল আইচার এডিবল আইচার ইস বিং কালটিভেটেড ইন ইন্ডিয়া সো মেনি কান্ট্রিজ আর ডুইং ইট বাট ইন ইন্ডিয়া ভেরি লেসার কোয়ান্টিটি ভেরি লেসার কোয়ান্টিটি মেনলি সম ইনস্টিটিউশনস ওনলি আই ক্যান ডু আই থিঙ্ক বাট ইট ইস হেল্পিং সম ফার্মার্স টু ডু আইচার্স র্যাক কালচার সিস্টেম দে আর ইউজিং অ্যান্ড ইন দ ন্যাচুরাল রিসোর্সেস ওনলি দে আর ডুইং নাও অ্যান্ড মাসেলস Yes, muscles are also doing in pole culture and rack and raft culture methods. Muscles are also being uh, cultivated. Some species I have given in here. Crassastia, Madrasensis, the oyster and uh, Crassastia, Grecoids and Rivularis species. And uh, Sacostria, Cuculata, Cuculata, that uh, oyster, these species are being cultured in India. And muscles, Perna viridis and Perna indica and mitilus species also. are being cultivated in india by using pole culture method and uh, rack and raft culture methods molluscan culture clams yes blouse uh, <laughs> clams uh, we we have to yes uh, clams and all will give good taste the, uh, there are so many hotels giving sandwich clams uh, sandwich bibles so we have, we can uh, concentrate on doing culture of these clams also venerupsis species matrix meritrix species and mercentrica species mercentrica species and uh, anadra species are of clams are being cultured in india but very lesser quantity yes in india with through rack culture only they are doing it yes then seaweed yes uh, seaweed is a very good uh, interesting title to study about the seaweed in india uh, uh, in india seaweed culture we cannot find the, in so many areas but uh, some areas have started it uh, the species of laminaria japonica and the sargassum fusiformi and the gracilaria porphyra uh, gracilaria species and porphyra species are being uh, cultured floats with rope system that is the successful system for seaweed china that if you take the whole world production china korea and japan these three countries are contributing almost 80% of the whole production they are concentrating that much for uh, seaweed culture in china alone it is producing 26 lakhs metric ton per year of uh, seaweed they are producing in india also in india yes um, uh, gujarat that uh, gujarat livelihood promotion company with uh, csm cri is yes, uh, when mr narendra modi was uh, chief minister for gujarat that uh, that uh, glpc that uh, gujarat livelihood promotion company along with csm cri they started doing culture now only they have started doing it so within 5 or 10 years it will be expected to have more seaweed culture in india in tamil nadu also that pepsi pepsi and co pepsi company that is cool drinks company those companies will the, those companies started in uh, tamil nadu areas only but now they are trying to stop it i don't know what is the problem then aquaculture nutrition yes if we come for nutrition from aquaculture fish uh, nutrition means that fish uh, prawns uh mollusk that sepia and uh, sepia and other species of bivalves lot of aquaculture species is being eaten by us in that fish contributes almost 17 percentage of the total animal protein 7 percentage of the total protein animal protein animal protein means what are the whatever the animal protein sources from animal that uh, contributes fish alone contributes 17 percentage 7% of the whole proteins that is including 
plant origin also every single person adult needs 60 grams of protein per day for our good health 50 percentage of the daily necessary protein can be contributed by 150 grams of fish almost 30 grams of protein is being uh, taken by us from eating fish of 150 grams per day every day we cannot take fish and other foods also we got it up. but anyway 60 grams of protein we need a day fish is rich in calcium phosphorus iron uh, zinc iodine magnesium and potassium rich very rich nutrients are available in uh, fish average world fish consumption consumption is yes average per head around the world if we take uh, every single person is taking almost 20.5 5 kg of fish or uh, seafood per year per head but in india 5 kg we are short we are taking only 15.5 so 5 kg we have to improve per head per year 5 kg means you see 150 crores of people are there in india almost 750 crores of kgs of fish seafood should be produced so to meet our daily requirement it is giving good health for us then seafood contains functional components that are not present in the terrestrial organisms it provides vitamin a b and d also omega 3 fatty acids vitamin a gives good vision and boost and it is boosting the immune system of our body vitamin b helps energy production through metabolism vitamin a helps uh, to have good uh, metabolism and energy for for energy production benefits of seafood seafood contains functional components that are not in the it provides vitamin a b and c yes boost in pronounce so omega 3 fatties that is the specialty of eating fish this uh, omega fatty acid lowering the blood pressure and regulates the heart rhythm yes these uh, these um, omega 3 fatty acids healthy brain function it helps us to have health healthy brain and infant development in when we have baby in the womb of uh, ladies that vision development and nervous system are being developed very good by this omega 3 fatty acid during the uh, pregnancy period avoid we can avoid tablets because for all the things nowadays doctors are giving tablets only for the pregnancy ladies also we can avoid by eating fish good fish yes then babies optimal development needs selenium iodine and dha occurs exclusively in fish only eating dha must yes that uh, dha is there that dha should be eaten uh, by all the pregnant ladies that uh, that is last 3 months of the pregnancy period and first 2 years of baby needs must they it is must for them to take fish for, for having the dha yes seaweed chemical composition is glow yes seaweed chemical composition is very close to human blood plasma that purifies our blood so if we take seaweed our blood will be purified and our calcium content of seaweed is almost 10 times of the milk then it is alkalizing alkalizing the blood yes uh, nowadays we are taking so many acidic food even if we cook uh, this fish also in uh, some fry pans or some material or some parts means it is not good it is earthen parts should be that earthen parts only will help us to have good alkaline food so whenever you go for eating fish you use earthen parts to make your curries alkalinizing the body yes eating seaweed making our body more alkaline nowadays yes corona period it is covid 19 oh what the table is being given is that um, uh, hydroxychloroquine is being given for the patients which are affected by that is corona that uh, hydroxychloroquine is going to alkaline your body those who are having good alkaline blood and good alkaline body may not get this corona effect because acidic nature of the body only is uh, prone to so many diseases alkaline body 
will never be exposed to the any diseases like this viral affection and all so if we take seaweed our body will be alkaline good to the nowadays we are taking um, some cool drinks cool drinks with huge sugar level if we take this cool drinks and all it is more acidic highly acidic it is immediately our body components will see what these people have eaten some toxic he has taken so immediately it will test it the ph of the cold drinks will be very lesser so it will be much acidic it will try to affect our body immediately our body immune system and and the, and the endocrine systems will take uh, will make our body alkaline by taking calcium from the bone our bone it will go to that you know that our body system will go to the bone and immediately take more alkaline from the bone to nutrify to nullify this acidic effect of this cool drinks so we should avoid taking cool drinks and all then that because of taking acidic food only acidic cool drinks and all only uh, our bones are becoming more brittle and we are we will not have strength in the future so we should avoid cool drinks and all soft drinks yes antioxidants antioxidants everybody knows it is giving good immune system and it is uh, agent for anti aging even in the age of 50 or 60 you can look like younger yes nowadays we are using so many uh, creams <laughs> so many facial creams for uh, our beauty no it is not needed if you start taking good seaweed yeah, at least daily uh, at least once in a day or three uh, times in a week we can avoid buying of beauty creams because it the seaweed will give you a lot of beauty then beauty and that uh, your skin will be glorifying like i think we can stop using some beauty creams yes detoxifying this seaweed if we take more means the toxic compounds will be expelled out yes we used to take ginger for this process so seaweed also doing the same obesity yes obesity it the presence of iodine in seaweed is helps us to uh, to have the good function of thyroid glands responsible for health metabolism by regulating thyroid it is doing health metabolism system then minerals minerals which are present in the seaweed acts as uh, acts as electrolytes to break the chemicals bond chemical bond that seals the fat content that it will break the fat uh, see that fat bond to expel it out and to solve the problem of obesity so you can become more leaner so seaweed meal for animal feed animal feed also are being uh, for prawn feed we are using fish meal that is uh, made from fish and here it is uh, used for animal feed and fertilizers that is seaweed we also can use feed, seaweed meal for animal feed and uh, fertilizers making seaweed bath yes uh, we used to take bath steam bath steam bath like that by having this uh, seaweed also we can uh, take bath to solve the problem of rheumatism and arthritis related that is related to bones and agar media we can prepare agar media which is acting as a, a main uh, media main media for culture of uh, bacteria and uh, fungi in the laboratory level yes now opportunities in aquaculture yes uh, in india um, aquaculture is the more fastest growing industry yes because i can say uh, the year of 2000 yeah, the year of 2009 india up till then 2007 india used to produce only uh, 80000 tons of prawns that were at that time take, uh, that tiger was there black monodon monodon species were there but then after uh, in, uh, the, the introduction of uh, wanami now we are almost producing 8 lakh tons per year you see how fast we have grown in uh, doing aquaculture so lot of job job opportunities lot of uh, business opportunities are being given by uh, the aquaculture field now 
then technology yes what we have to do okay, huge opportunities are there uh, for entrepreneurs to invest in technology upgradation which are being used in aquaculture for example uh, good aerators that good blowers we need good blowers we need and to uh, to produce more uh, in a acre for example in hectare if you produce two tons to increase that production we can implement bioflock culture system that needs huge technology uh, that technology in that technology only we, we should try to invest more money so entrepreneurs having very good opportunities to invest more money in uh, aquaculture through technology uh, upgradation which will boost up the yield of aquaculture okay right new feed technology for cost reduction yes cost of feed should be uh, compulsorily reduced for uh, successful aquaculture because that uh, uncertainties over the success of uh, aquaculture is uh, very higher so to reduce that uh, so in that uh, situation critical situation the reduction in cost so we should uh, find or we should formulate new feed with uh, good technology for cost reduction yes nowadays we are all talking about uh, organic aquaculture yes organic aquaculture means without using any chemicals without using any chemicals or any artificial feeds artificial supplementary feeds are being lost uh, being used hugely so we should uh, concentrate on developing organic aquaculture utilization of sea coast yes there are lot of lands are uh, being wasted by not doing any culture in uh, our india so many areas has been encroached encroaches occupied by some people uh, because uh, when dr rajeshwar reddy was the chief minister of uh, uh, andhra pradesh that koller lake uh, he tried to remove all the koller lake uh, uh, encroaches so that kind of thing should be done and it, it should be allowed immediately to take up by farmers to start production of aquaculture products then wide opportunities for entrepreneurs in all the departments of fisheries clam culture we can do aicher culture we can do sea weed and crab culture we can do these are all not having good and this hello are you able to hear me yes sir yes yes okay 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 right i think we are not able to see the slide one minute yes in that uh, opportunity if you see the opportunities social challenges must be reduced yes there are a lot of um, objections from soci- soci- society for starting aquaculture ponds in agriculture areas yes, that should be minimized by the government and uh, our uh, t- experts boost of sales yes it uh, eating of prawns uh, it is not reached so many villages of our india so we all graduates and uh, entrepreneurs should increase the sales of uh, shrimp or some other uh, fishes by having easy technology to store it because now we are adding uh, ice uh, ice and we carrying boxes and all uh, it is very difficult to buy if you see the ice cream and all we are doing with uh, freezers and all very easily so that kind of easy technology should be implemented to boost up the sales of uh, shrimps in village level areas daily we can so so uh, production and sales should be uh, can be uh, increased to huge level by Uh, uh, investing more in aquaculture field so these are the opportunities uh, in aquaculture thank you thank you sir thank you thank you thank you for the elaborate uh, talk of yours yes. uh, you are giving uh, different aspects to the student community okay uh, with related to with relation to aquaculture and okay. the different uh, opportunities that students have in the future okay thank you very much for the elaborate lectures of course we have a lot of questions sir okay. uh, due to uh, short of time i don't want to uh, <laughs> disturb you with the questions <laughs> maybe uh, the participants can mail the questions okay. to sir okay definitely sir can you just uh, provide the ma- uh, your mail id in the chat box sir ah yes i can give you now uh, in the chat box please uh, 
put your mail id sir one minute where should i write sir yes sir on the chat box sir to everyone uh, okay. can i write now yes sir yes sir please sir i am not able to type now chat uh, chat i should uh, press click. that yes, chat sir. chat yes sir please one click minute. on the chat box one minute yes and, uh, i will write now yes sir please sir yes i have given it uh, no sir you have, maybe you have given it to a single person uh, please pass it on to everyone sir uh, no i i have given for oh everyone everyone only i have given yes sir yes i can see that sir yes can you see now uh, yes sir yes sir thank you participants thank you. for your active participation today okay. so sir has given uh, his mail id it's psarathi.sap@gmail.com kindly post your queries to sir and uh, he'd be happy to answer uh, thank you for the, uh, the session today okay and tomorrow please join us same time for a presentation on herbal plants conservation through biotechnology techniques by dr bastian churchill thank you okay. one and all okay sir thank you thank you sir right thank you thank you mr parth sir thank you for thank your nice presentation thank, thank you thank you for opportunity right